Hi, Cancer. How are you guys? I hope you're all doing well. And happy birthday. Those of you that are celebrating birthdays in the month of July. This is going to be your July 2020 monthly tarot card reading. The Gilded. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs. Cancer, those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram for additional weekly lives. Links to everything you guys need are right below. Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Knight of Cups, Crowning You, Ten of Cups, Two Tens, definitely at the end of the cycle, a Knight of Swords reversed. Okay. So definitely you have an ending and a new beginning here and you guys have absolutely everything you need to manifest, create whatever it is you want. And I really feel like for the majority of you, this has to do with love. Ten of Wands. But some of you are definitely carrying around burdens or you're stressed out. Could be at the home. At work, I just feel like somebody's not happy, whether it's you or the other person, Cancer. Someone, someone's definitely carrying around a lot of burdens. Definitely not happy. Not when you have the Ten of Wands with this. You know, I just feel like you're moving forward, plugging away, you know, with that heavy burden, but the family is a heavy burden. It's just, you're just not happy. It's like you're happy, but you're not happy. You do have a water sign here. Oops, sorry. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And they are literally, this is, you know, 99.999% .99 of the time, someone from the past coming back. And they really are coming back from the past. And they're in the past position, coming right in and making you some sort of offer, an opportunity. It is going to make you happy, very happy. So with all the burdens, with the family life or the happiness, you know, it does appear with the Ten of Cups. Happiness, contentment, you know, you appear to have, you definitely want more. That's And that's exactly what's coming. You know, and it's kind of like you have a competitor with the Knight of Swords reversed. You know, and I really can't tell if it's two people. But it does look like this person is coming in suddenly. You know, with very blunt, maybe harsh communication. That's probably going to... throw you way off this air sign. This air sign could be the burden. For others of you with the magician, you know, you could be dealing with a Gemini, a Virgo, and I feel like that could be a, a little bit of manipulation, trickery involved. But it is definitely going to get you where you need to go. 
you know, this air sign might, you know, have blunt, straightforward communication, but let's clarify it. This definitely does feel like a love reading. All right, let me, I'm going to use the steel bunk to clarify. Um, all right, yeah. Amazing. Ace of Pentacles just flipped up. A new, a new life. An offer. An opportunity for a new job. Opportunity that you might you might need to move for this. It could absolutely be a proposal of marriage. It could also be a proposal to move in together. Take the relationship to the next level. Magician. Some of you, three of cups, some of you are definitely being proposed to, literally. Others of you could be, could be cheating or appears to be cheating. Let me see the Knight of Swords. Seven of Cups reversed. Interesting. So this Knight of Swords could come in and, and you know maybe say something mean, nasty, and they are definitely a little bit delusional. But they are getting a, a big wake up call. Either they're delusional, or you could be that. There definitely could be something going on with that. So on one hand, someone is getting proposed to for marriage or a solid, stable, grounded new beginning, a new life. Others of you, there's possible cheating or over overindulgences with the Three of Cups, stuff like that. And others of you, unfortunately, being taught a harsh lesson verbally from someone else. I am going to look at both of your tens here. Yeah, ten of wands. I definitely this one. Ten of cups. Okay. Lovers reversed, sign of Gemini. There's your marriage. Proposal, wow. Well, and, you know, it appears, you know, with the marriage, it appears that you're very happy, stable, grounded, but you also have the lovers reversed. And I really feel like this is a stalker. Either you're stalking someone or they're stalking you. Or someone is cheating. And with the Four of Wands, this is like emotional happiness, contentment. You know, this is happiness, family, feeling solid, stable, and grounded. I don't know why that's blurry. There we go. I mean, it's beautiful energy. All right, let me, I'm going to look at the Ten of Cups again. All right, I'm taking them off. Screw it, why not? Wow. What are you doing here? Somebody's stalking. Nine of Wands, High Priestess, Judgment. 
There's definitely a wake-up call, like I said before, to someone. There's also secrets that are coming to light. Nine of Wands, you're, maybe, you know, you're definitely fighting a good fight, but being exhausted. And there is this feeling of loss here, but yet a feeling of gain at the same time. You know, some of you are happy and content, and others of you... All right. But you do have a new beginning being presented to you. All right, Cancer. But if it didn't resonate, definitely watch your other signs. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please be sure to subscribe. And I will see you back here with the Love Monthlies. Take care.